Okay. This is the best symbol I have of her avionics at hand right now as we shoot this, but it is kind of um, symbolic of um, kind of our decision-making process to figure out what we're going to do with avionics. I mean, we kind of had an idea of what we wanted to do avionics-wise flying the planes that we fly now, but Ken had explained to me that there are people out there who can make the harnesses for us, cut the panel, and make it look nice, and save us a lot of time. Yeah. And there are a couple different options out there, and it was like, who do we go with? There was a brief moment early in our building career where I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do my own avionics. How hard could it be? And huh. I know like a local avionic shop um, who a friend of ours works at, uh, so, oh yeah, we'll cut your panel. We got a CNC machine here, we'll, we'll do it. And I quickly realized that here's a shop who does high quality certified work. I mean, this is a very reputable shop who knows their stuff. And I had no doubt if our plane was in front of them, they would be able to do a good job. But then I thought, wait, there are people who specialize in Vans aircraft who know that airplane in and out and know harnesses at this point need to be exactly this long and don't have to figure it out. Um, so I think we pretty quickly discounted the do-it-yourself solution because one, I can do wiring. I am I do like electronics, but it's not it's not my favorite thing. It's very detailed, specific work. I think we knew it was going to be time consuming and time consuming. So then I realized, all right, if we um, hire one of the panel builders, we're basically trading a amount of money for time. And I estimated probably about two to three months of time is what we're what we were saving. Where if I were building the panel from scratch myself, I would get a box of mismatched stuff from Garmin. Well, not mismatched, but a box of stuff from Garmin. Realize, whoops, I didn't order this adapter. I didn't order this. I need to go. So it would have been four or five rounds of that. Uh, I would have piecemealed, put it in, and it would have been two to three months where the fuselage would sit there, and we would be building the avionics up step by step. And I quickly, you know, we're fortunate enough that um, we're able to make that financial decision that we'll trade that amount of money for uh, for those two to three months. Granted, we made this decision before any significant delays occurred in our build. True. We also made that decision before um, a significant delay in our life called Amelia came along. <laughs> Or we even knew that she there was were coming. many delays. <laughs> Part of us thought we were going to finish this build before we got pregnant. Yeah, um, we we tried. We absolutely planned to have Amelia, but we didn't plan to have Amelia when we did. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a, you yeah. know, yeah. six to twelve months sooner than we anticipated. <laughs> but um, would not trade it for anything in the world. But you know it solidified our decision that was already in progress at that point that going with um, Stein was the right answer. But to be honest, before I did my research on Stein, uh, I was looking at a different company. Yeah. And it was a company who had, you know, I was making my decision based upon the wrong thing, which they had a really good YouTube presence. And I liked their uh, YouTube videos and the way they talked about it. They also do vans and nose vans well, but they're more of the go-to for sling. Um, and talked to them at Oshkosh and... Um, you talked to them quite a bit. Yeah, I talked to them, but it didn't click with me. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, and I'm not saying their name, but I'm sure most people know who I'm talking about. Um, I think they do a quality job. And if you are building with them, I would expect you're going to get a great result. Um, but the process and the conversations I had just, it just didn't click with me. Then I went into, I believe it's Hangar C at, uh, Oshkosh where Stein has their booth every year. Um, I think you're getting ahead of yourself. Okay. I went into <laughs> Hangar C, um, because I was looking for Stein Air. You had wandered off. And I was like, oh, these are the people I wanted to talk to. I would never wander off at Oshkosh. Who would do such a thing? That's crazy. And I, I probably saw an airplane. 
I started looking at all their, you know, display panels and this and that. And I was asking the guy some questions and he was looking at me like, why does this girl sound like she knows what she's talking about? <laughs> um, I don't know who it was, but um, because obviously I knew we were shopping for someone mm -hmm. to help us with our panel and I knew that's what they did. And I had heard him ask a bunch of questions, so I was asking questions and things I wanted to know. And I asked him this question. I was like, what makes you better than the other guys? What did they say? Come here, let me show you this. <laughs> and oh. I was like, okay. So we walk over to one of the panels and he's like, flip those switches. And I was like, oh, these are nice. <laughs> Is the fancy backlit um, rocker switches instead of the standard little metal um, poles uh, yeah. switches. I mean, that wasn't the only thing he yeah. said, but that was the thing that got me. And then that's when I went, grabbed you, and then you probably stood there talking for a couple hours because I remember I took off. Yes, I remember spending a lot of time with Stein by myself there. I had already made it up in my mind. I was like, I want those switches. <laughs> but I instantly realized as we started talking to Stein at Oshkosh that this is a company who is a much more collaborative process. Uh, they also have more years of experience working with Vans Aircraft than any other panel builder out there. They, I mean, there's a reason why Vans buys their harnesses to include in their kit. Um, they, um, but I want to dispel the myth that they do all the work for you and all you have to do is plug it in and go. Um, if only it, um, and to be honest, you don't want that to be taken away from you. You know, there, there's an amount of work. You are a home builder, so you are going to do some work and that customization is important. Um, and you know, they're, are going to be a couple things that I'm speaking on what I think is going to happen that as we install it, we're going to have some challenges that we're going to have to work around because Stein pre-built our wire harnesses to be a certain length with the thought that something was going to fit there. And we're going to have to come up with some creative solutions. I know we're going to have to build some new rails and um, um, <coughs> shelves that certain components are going to fit on that are not included in the van's kit. But I'm sorry, we're builders. We've fabricated pieces already. We can do that. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we're going to have a little bit of work to do. And the advantage is Stein has installed this in so many RV14s that they know what kind of space we have to work with and what will generally work and what won't, won't, won't work. Now, in our process, we did go all in. Um, you know, originally we started building this airplane thinking that we were going to be able to make budget, uh, you know, some, you know, economy decisions. And our budget has been, well, let's just buy the best of the best every turn. So we're getting the most expensive Vans aircraft that we can do for this model. Well, there was a lot of factors that went into that. Not only did we look at what avionics we were getting and we knew mm -hmm. we were wanted both sides to have, you know, top of the line things. Um, but we were going to have to be spending that money anyways. Yep. Just spend a little bit more and get yep. some help. So our panel is, and we will do an episode up where I have taken my invoices from Stein and I've broken it into categories so you can see, like, I wanted to answer the question of how much money am I trading for that two to three months of work? And the answer is about $8,000 is somewhere in that area. It's like, if we did it ourselves, I probably factor in and I'd have to buy wire harness and crimps, you know, all that, those smaller piece things. The actual labor and work that Stein is doing for us comes out to about $8,000. Now with everything else we're doing, we're going top of the line, um, you know, having some really nice to have things like our switches instead of a, you know, $5 rocker switch. We're doing a $75 per switch to get that really nice backlit switches that um, we both fell in love. I'm, I'm going to blame you, but I'll they take, look nice. I'll take credit. We both fell in love with them. <laughs> um, you know, a great paint job on the panel. Uh, amazing laser etched with our logos. Oh, it looks so good. Colors. I mean, completely custom the way we want it. Um, so all in, we're, we're north of... Um, $65,000 for our panel. Yeah. Um, we did, you know, I knew before we built this plane, we're putting Garmin in. 
just because I'm certified world. I've flown Garmin so much. Um, the couple times I've flown um, Dynon and uh, Advanced Flight Systems, I just... It's not what we know. It wasn't what I... It wasn't the flows and the stuff that I liked. So we did... Um, we did one year at Oshkosh, make it a point to throw out our bias towards Garmin and talk to Advanced Flight Systems, talk to the Dynon, really get a full, give it a full chance. I will say the people at Dynon and Advanced Flight System, I really like a lot better than Garmin. We go into the Garmin booth and talk to them. And like, nah, 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 nah. I mean, they don't the, have time for us. The, the, the customer service there, I, I do know their tech support's good if you call in. I've had good experience with them on uh, GPS updates and some other stuff. But the sales process, you know, they're, they're, they're the big company in the room and they don't have to be nice because we're going to buy anyways. We're proof. Yeah. Um, I wish the people at Advanced Flight System. We're at Garmin because then I'd have best of both worlds. And to be honest, I tried to talk myself into Van Flight System. I just, I like the precision and the cleanliness and the, um, a lot of the things I struggled to articulate of why I just really love Garmin. The autopilot's a lot better. So, so we went with Garmin and, um, you know, so that, ups the price already. Yeah. Um, the other interesting thing is since her and I are both going to be flying this airplane, we are not, we're not set in either left seat or right seat for pilot command. They, all of our engine controls, all of our uh, switches and buttons and everything to control the airplane is center justified instead of left justified as you would see in a lot of airplanes. My big struggle is, and the big limitation of Garmin that advanced flight systems can do a better job of, is I cannot flip-flop the PFD. I can make the secondary screen a PFD, but I cannot make the primary screen a MFD. So at no time can I have the full screen map up on the non-primary side. So because of that, I'm still debating, is our primary side going to be left or right? I'm pretty sure Stein has already answered that. They're going to cut everything to go to the left side, so uh, which we'll be fine with. So that means the best I can do is if I'm flying from the right seat, is I can set the right side up to be a great split screen PFD, but the left side will be a split screen PFD, and I can't make it full screen engine, full screen uh, whatever. Um, that's the one limitation that I st still just, mm, I understand why the wiring that Garmin does necessitates it and does make it very reliable and, you know, good enough for certified, which is going into our airplane. But um, that's the one struggle that I have. Um, but um, we're going to learn a lot more about working with Stein uh, when I go up there here in a week or two, um, why they couldn't finish our panel in May when it's a little bit warmer. I don't know, but we're going to Minnesota beginning of March. So oof. I'm kind of jealous. You get to go meet all these people that we've been emailing back and forth with for all these months. I mean, it's not like I haven't met them. I met yeah. them at Oshkosh, but you get to go hang out with them and like see our panel and everything. And trust me, I don't want to go. It's Minnesota in winter. <laughs> and Stein's not that big of a company. It's not like they have hundreds of people. They're yeah. like 10, like, when you see all the people at Stein, they tend to, what I've noticed is about midweek at Oshkosh, they flip, they rotate. So the people you see at the beginning are gone. Um, so if you're at Oshkosh all week, make sure you go um, twice at the beginning and at the end and meet the different people. Um, every time I pick up the phone, they know who I am. They talk to me. They know everything about what I'm doing, uh, why I'm asking the question. They've been super helpful. Um, we're going to follow most of the, there's a few things that he suggested that you should do it this way, like run our ground wire as a single wire from the, uh, pitot tube all the way to the ground in block. I'm going to put a disconnect at the wing. I just kind of, I don't know. Not that we're going to take the wing off that often, but I just want it plug and play. 
But Nothing's plug and play. Didn't he just say that? That's true. Except for the things I make plug and play. <laughs> I do the plug in and I'm going to play at the same time. Oh, Lord. Does that work? No? Okay. But um, those are some of our thought processes that went into why we are, why we, how we landed on Stein, um, how we compared some of the other options. Um, there are other companies out there that if you're already flying and just want to rip out your old panel, put a new one in, do a really good job of that if they have the plane in front of, in front of them. But to have something that is manageable to finish off installing, Stein just had a really good story that works for us and um, top notch customer service. Yep. And they're just fun to talk to. Um, <laughs> email back and forth and um, very responsive. And uh, they stand behind their work. Um, there's been a few glitches in our process that uh, every single time they they did what was right to 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 make it make it perfect for us because they know this is a big investment. So we, we, we really appreciate them. Yeah. So um, give them a look at uh, Stein Air to find them on the web, find them at Oshkosh. Um, you, know, you can find them talked about in Vans Air Force and all over the place there. Um, you, know, you won't find a Vans builder who doesn't know Stein. So um, give them a shot. So again, thank you for listening to, us, or listening to us ramble here at 14 Victor Echo. We appreciate you. More to come on Stein Air. See you next time.